What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of AJ's Garage. Um, today we are going to be doing the convertible top on Scarlet here because the one that's on it is terrible and I don't like it. And it has a plastic window and what I want to put in is a glass window so this is what we're going to be doing today. Okay this is what's on the car now. The factory plastic back window. It has some nasty duct tape. You cannot see through it at all. It's ripped multiple times. I stitched it with fishing line. Here's the biggest rip that it had and I stitched it just for the time being. But now here's the brand new top that we got. I got the one with the glass back window. It's a lot better. I got it off Amazon. The one with the glass window is I think 300 and if you want to get a plastic window it's about $200. Okay to start disassembling the soft top from the what is it called the frame I guess you're gonna to want to take out these Phillips head screws all the way along the side. So we'll take those out and we'll get back to you in a second. Can I pull this off? Okay so we got off all the bolts now we're going to peel back the top a little bit and see however much will come off. It won't do much. Oh, wait, hold on. we got to remove these seals. So next you're going to remove these seals along the car. And yeah, we're going to figure that out right now. Okay, so the top fell back while Joey was holding on to this seal and it came off. So I guess you kind of just pull on them and they should come right out. Pull it like a man. I don't want to rip it. I'm gonna try and buy new seals. Okay, you just pull on them and they come off. And there's gonna be three bolts on this metal strip. And then you're gonna do the same thing on the next seal. Let me show you. This seal should just pull this one right off. And then this one should just pull right off. So we're gonna do that and show you guys what it looks like after. Okay, so we got those little strips off, and now the top of the top peels back. It peels right back, and now what you're going to have to do is fold it back, that way you can get off this bottom seal down here. Alright, so we got the seal that sits on the back off, and now you got another one of those chrome strips. You're going to take out the Phillips screws, and then the top should be able to peel back a little bit more. Okay, so we pulled it back the top and we found the, the end of the cable here. So we're going to go ahead and take that, that bolt out right there and pull the cable through through the front and then we should be able to pull the top off. Alright, so Aaron's going to undo the, the bolt now. Make sure you're holding the bolt because it's kind of spring loaded and it'll, it'll throw the screw back at you happened on the other side so so once you get the bolt out just set it aside and then what you're gonna want to do is get this part of the spring around this little what is it like an eye hook or whatever that way you're able to pull the string through the top up here and it'll free up the rest of the top from the frame so let me grab the rest so we're just gonna get that that off the little hook here and then just pull it through through this end here. Alright, so we got the, the spring off, so now we're just going to pull it through. So it's going to go through this hole here. You're going to pull it up out of that hole, peel back the top, go through this other hole on the top itself, and then from the front, you're going to pull the wire through the top, 
out the front like this and now the top is able to it's more free and next we're going to take the top out of this section here on the inside of the car all right so remove this part of the top from the cage you're just going to peel back this uh this metal tab that's yeah. holding it in there just pry it back a little bit not too much because you don't want to put a lot of you don't want to like make the metal piece all funky so after you pry it back then you're gonna want to try and there's like a plastic on the vinyl they're gonna want to get out of there and once you get that going then you should be able to peel the top out like this and it's okay if you mess up the plastic on the old top because you're replacing it anyways you're just gonna go all the way along the entire length of the car I'll go ahead and go around to the other side and work on it. Okay, so now you're going to want to try and peel the top out of the thing. Needle nose pliers work pretty good for this. So as you can see, once you pry back the metal, the top itself will start coming out. Now, next, we're gonna go towards the rear on both the floor mat. And then you're gonna take out, I think it's 13 bolts to get the rest of the top out. Do that. Okay, so now that we got the top disconnected from the roof section, you have to come to this rear back here and re remove these plastic clips all the way around. And they're not the easiest and it's not the most comfortable position. As you can see, Joey's having a great time with them. But he's doing pretty good. So just be careful with them because they can break. Yeah, really they easy. break pretty easily. So you're gonna want to get a tool like this, a little pry tool, and you get back behind them and then stick it in the middle and push back and it'll pry it right out. And this is what the little clips look like. <laughs> this is what this is what you're taking out. These things. So once you take out all those, we'll get back to you. All right, so you're gonna pull the carpet out. And done with that step, you're just gonna set it aside like that. Okay, now on the inside of the top, there's bolts all the way around that hold in the rain rail. You see those bolts right there? They hold in the rain rail and the top to the rear of the car. So after we take off all of those, the top will come right out. But you just have to be really careful if you're reusing your rain rail because if it's stock, it's really brittle and it's not gonna be fun if you break it. You could run it without the rain rail, but then water will get in your car. And you could buy the brand new rain rail also, and I think they're $100. And I didn't really wanna buy that, so I'm just gonna reuse mine. Alright, so we took off all these nuts and this uh, metal rail comes off and then once you once you have that off you just pull this I think this is the, the rain what's it called the rain rail yeah the rain rail you want to be really careful with this so you're gonna pull that back all the way around make sure they're off every stud yeah make sure check them all twice so you don't, you really don't want to damage your rain rail 
So once you have them all off, then you, you can, can start the pulling the top off the studs. And there's the outside of the car. So I'm gonna go on the outside and get a better shot. Okay, so you're gonna wanna be careful, pry back the top from the corners. Okay, now you're ready to take off the top. All right, so now the top will come right off the car. Okay, we got the rain rail in. It didn't break, which is really good. That way I don't have to buy a new one. But we got it all in around the whole entire edge. Now next goes the insulated pad that goes right here and the rubber flat mat thing. So here's the pad. Just set that there. And then this insulation pad goes next. Oh, I think it's okay And then the insulation pad. And now it's time to start putting the top on. So we're gonna set you guys up in a different angle and start doing that. Okay, so we bolted down the top, um, we put the, the, the metal brace on, and we put the top, we bolted down the top, all the nuts, so now we're just gonna move up to the top up here, and do the next step. Okay, so, it's pretty much done, but, yeah, <laughs> um, so as you can see, we got on the plastics, or the pl plastics, we got on the metals for the trims. That part was very, very, very hard, which is why we kind of didn't film it. So yeah, sorry about that. He had asked me for help, that's, that's what Yeah, I so Joey helped us out, us. Joey helped me out. So we got it done, basically. All that's left to do is tighten up the bolts in the back Tighten up all these bolts. There's a special sequence that you're supposed to go off of. The tightening sequence is right there. So like the corners, blah, blah, blah. So we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna have to bolt in the rest on the outside. We got a couple things to fit up still, snug up properly. But we'll get back to you guys at the end. Actually in a few minutes. Sorry, this isn't really the most explainable, well detailed explained. video. Sorry, but. Hey. Hopefully it helps a little bit. It'll help you a little bit. It'll help you take it off, putting it on. Just if do, you could just do what you did backwards. So exactly. You took it off. Whatever you did to take it off, put it on the same exact way, <laughs> but backwards. <laughs> we'll see you guys in a little bit. We're we gonna play it. Uh -huh. Okay, guys. So as you can see, we're tightening up all the bolts on the inside according to the sequence that the place I bought it from gave us. So after you tighten up all these, you're gonna put your carpet back in with those clips right here, these holes. With those clips that you got, and then after that it's done, we're gonna put on the seals for the door. And then after that, we're just gonna finish up the last ones on the front, the ones that we started with, and we'll be done. Did you make what? Uh, beard, yeah, hold up. Okay guys, so we got on this seal. Now we're gonna do the front one that goes right here. Sorry, let me get a little bit better lighting. We're gonna get this front one that goes here. And then the one that goes right here on the back. And after that, the tops. The top will be done. Finally. 10 hours later. But look at that back window. You can actually see out of it. As opposed to the other one. Okay, we're done. <laughs> we're finally done putting the top on. We got all the seals on. 
everywhere. The top, the window looks great. It don't even look like there's a window there, to be honest. The top's solid. You can see the outside. It's got a little bit of wrinkle, but when the sun hits it, and makes it stretch a little more. And then it'll it'll look a lot better. But here's here's the outcome compared to the old one. I like it a lot, so that's great. All the seals are on. Everything lines up nice. It opens, it closes. That's exactly what we wanted. What's up you guys? So it's a few days later, we already got the top done. We forgot to do an outro, so. Yeah, we'll see you next time for another episode. Um, you seen how the top looked? It looks way better than the original, and yeah, peace. Next week's video will be better, we promise. Later.